Hello, welcome back to Cryptic Woodworks. I'm Steve, and today I thought I might show you an old project uh, that I did. This was many years ago, it's been in my collection. This is a reproduction of a Pennsylvania spice chest. So these were popular for a period of time, uh, I believe it was around the late 1700s, uh, these were showing up. So you can still find some as antiques, they're uh, obviously getting a little bit more rare. Uh, this is a reproduction that I did oh, many years back. However, the reason I wanted to show it to you is that these spice chests often contained hidden compartments and other secret compartments. Uh, it was very common in that day and time for the craftsmen to be putting these into their products. So the uh, wood on this is uh, all walnut. The, is the primary wood, the secondary wood was poplar. Uh, it was often used at the times to keep the pieces a little bit cheaper. So any show face would be walnut. Some of the back stuff would be poplar, drawer bottoms, and things like that. Uh, it's comprised of heavy dovetail construction. There's just lots and lots of dovetails in here. So if you were ever unsure of your ability to cut dovetails, by the time you finish one of these, you're going to be really sure of your ability to cut dovetails. I mean, there are literally hundreds of them. Uh, and I think it was almost two days straight of cutting dovetails to finish everything on this chest. So let me open it up and I'll show you what's inside. So when we open, we see this bank of drawers. And each of these drawers is just a small drawer. And I'll flip it to the side. You can actually see we've got the half blind, or, uh, half blind dovetails. Uh, and even the backs are joined by dovetails. Uh, the bottoms for boxes this small were literally just glued on. Um, you know, this is many years old. I haven't had any trouble with wood movement because these are pretty small. And each of these is an independent drawer. So you can see that, yes, you will be cutting lots of dovetails if you consider all these drawers. Uh, the carcass is dovetailed together. So, yeah, there were a lot in there. Now you might be thinking, how would you hide secret compartments inside of a, a box like this? You know, it's not that big, so where could you put them? I'll show you. If I take out this drawer, and this drawer, it still doesn't look like there's anything major going on, but the center divider comes out, and behind there, is a little secret compartment. I've just got some extra screws from the box in there. So this is just a little box that is attached to the center divider and then slides back into the space. And it's pretty pretty tough to see when this box is all put together. Now another one actually sits inside the bottom of the box. So I can take out the middle drawer. And here's where we can see I was talking about how these boxes often use a secondary wood for the back. So your primary, your show face is walnut. You put poplar behind it, it makes things cheaper to develop or produce. But in this case, this little piece sits on some angled ramps and you'd have a nice little shallow spot for, you know, papers, money notes, things like that. And then when you're done, you just slide this back in. And it's hard to tell that you've ever had a hidden compartment back there. And you can reassemble the box. And no one would ever be the wiser. All right, there's two hidden compartments in here. Uh, there's actually a third, but I like to keep a little mystery around some of these. Uh, so I won't necessarily show absolutely everything that goes into it. But I'm sure if you did some research on this style of box, you would uh, start finding some interesting ways that they put secret compartments in them. The hardware on this is all reproduction hardware uh, from a company called Horton Brasses. They make great stuff. These uh, beautiful H hinges and even the uh, lock and the escutcheon plate that went on. So this was a, a big project. This was six days worth of class time uh, that I built this during and then probably another week or two on my own of just doing finishing some final details putting the finish on, coloring, top coating. And now it's just a uh, nice little collector's piece for me to keep. 
This isn't something that I ever plan to actively build. These are, as I said, very long projects to build, uh, and that makes them very expensive. So uh, something I wanted to do for myself, and I just keep in my own collection. So I hope you enjoyed that little retrospective of an old project and kind of see where uh, I got some of my start wanting to build things with hidden compartments. Take care, everyone.